and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they had no son, for Elizabeth was barren, and they both were well advanced in years. According to the custom of the priestly office, it was his lot to offer incense, going into the temple of the Lord. Fear not, Zachary, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. He shall be great before the Lord, and shall drink no wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And he shall convert many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God, and be prepared to the Lord for the people. Whereby shall I know from an old man and my wife's I am Gabriel, who stand before God, and am sent to speak to thee, and to bring thee these good tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be able to speak, until the day when these things have come to pass. For thou hast not believed my words, which shall be fulfilled in their time. He has seen the vision! And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God, to the city of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin be truth to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found grace with God. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and shalt bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of David his father. And he shall reign in the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. How shall this be done, because I know not man? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. And therefore also the Holy which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold thy cousin Elizabeth, she also hath conceived a son of her old age. And this is the sixth month of her that is called barren, for no word should be impossible with God. Behold, the hand of the Lord be done to me according to that word. Coming. Greetings, Elizabeth. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. My soul proclaim, proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit exalts in God my Savior, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. From this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy reaches from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has rooted the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their throne and exalted the lowly. Now he has filled with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. And Mary abode with her about three months. Now Elizabeth's full time being delivered was come, and she brought forth a son, and her neighbors and kinsfolks heard that the Lord has showed his great mercy towards her. Congratulations, Elizabeth. What are you going to call him, Zachary, John. after his father? Not so, but he should be called John. John, but there is another that kindred that is called by this name. Go and ask yeah. Zachary. Zachary, what name will you give your son? Blessed uh, uh, be the Lord, God of Israel, who hath vis visited and wrought the redemption of his people. And the child grew and was strengthened in spirit, and was in the deserts until the day of his manifestation to Israel. My name, Augustus Caesar, is. The entire world I rule. Each minute and unseen part is subject to my will. Each and every man shall go to his native place to be enrolled, so that we may have a census of the world. To all have ears to hear, let them hear, far and wide, east and west and south and north, to every man proclaim, to the census thou shalt go. Yes, Friends, 
priests, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Our Lord and Sovereign, the Divine Augustus, hath published a decree that each and every man should go to his native place to be enrolled, so that we may have a census of the world. And it came to pass that in those days they went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This enrolling was first made by Cyrenus, the governor of Syria. And all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his espoused wife, who was with child. Name? Esther of the tribe of Reuben. Name? Name? And it came to pass that while they were there, her days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth the firstborn son, and wrapped him up in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger. What child is this? Oh, great to rest on Mary's lap is sweet evening. All angels greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch on keeping. This, this is Christ. King whom shepherds guard and angels sing, haste, haste to bring in love the babe, the son of Mary. There was in the same country shepherds watching, and keeping the night watches over their flock. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood by them, and the brightness of God shone round about them, and they feared with a great fear. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy that shall be to all the people. For this day is born to you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord in the city of David. And this shall be a sign unto you, shall find the infant wrapped in swaddling clothes, and laid in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly army, praising God and saying, And brilliance. Come, let us travel to Jerusalem and find the meaning of this great wonder. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We travel so far, field and fountain more, and mountain following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night. Star in royal beauty, bright, 
request for leadings to proceedings I'll lead us to my perfect eyes. King Herod, we are in search of him who is born king of the Jews. We have seen a star in the east and have come to the door. Where is the first to go in? In Bethlehem of Judah, for so is written by the prophet. And thou, Bethlehem of the land of Judah, are not released among the princes of Judah. Now to thee shall come forth the captain to my people of Israel. Who is the Bethlehem from the last cast of the child that I may adore him? Born a babe on Bethlehem's plain. Gold I bring to crown him again, King forever ceasing, never over her soul to reign. Take incense to offer her there, incense and the hell to know, and praising all men raising, for shopping God on high. Myrrh is mine, it's bitter perfume, breathes a life of gathering gloom. Soaring, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone cold tomb. Oh, oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Thank you. 